Hey there, Ospreys. Welcome to another Campus Update with Inside Swoop. I'm River Dodd, here to bring you up to date on what's going on this week. Hidden behind the Fine Arts Center is the ceramic station and a great opportunity to get your hands dirty and make art at the same time. The ceramics program here at UNF will teach students technical skills, aesthetic awareness, and craftsmanship. If you're interested in the design process, this program may be the fit for you. Walking a few steps over from the Ceramics Guild, you can find the Photography Studio. In this building, you can find a whole community of students who are interested in capturing beauty in a single photograph. Students here are challenged to find out what direction they want to move in with photography. We head over to our reporter, Jessica Lee, for more. Here at the Photography Studio, students can come and get their film processed and looking really nice. And I got a chance to talk to the lab technician here who will be telling you more about what he does and how he helps out. So I'm the 2D lab tech here at UNF. Um, I assist with the photography department, the graphic design department, uh, printmaking and painting and drawing as well. Um, I do kind of all the ordering for all the equipment for those departments and kind of assist any of the professors with the needs that they need for their classes on campus. So it's pretty much what I do here and I love my job and up, go Ospreys. They do have a photo club which is open to all students who are interested. Jessica Lee, Inside Swoop. Thanks Jessica. The next studio on campus is the Sculpture Lab. The Sculpture Lab is located just by the School of Communication in the same building as Physical Services. The lab offers students tools such as furnaces, welders, presses, and saws. Classes offered here include Sculpture 1, 2, and 3. In these classes, professors offer hands-on guidance and students are allowed within the labs at almost all hours of the day. With dozens of sculptures scattered across campus, students pass by many of them on their way to class. However, few know about the fact that many of these were made by students here at UNF. The sculptures seen across campus used as bike racks, benches, and more were made as far back as 2004. Many of these sculptures were created by UNF sculpture students. Located right next to the Starbucks by the library, Peace Plaza is a place that encourages students to take a break to relax or study in peace. The statue of Gandhi was built in 2006 and the MLK statue was built six years later in 2012. Several quotes by David Thoreau can be seen surrounding the statues as both peacemakers have been inspired by his work in the past. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, Voces y Caras is an annual multimedia exhibition featuring art by Latinx students and alumni alike. The exhibition highlights the growth, scope, and impact of the Latinx community in recognizing immigrants as an indispensable part of our society. The exhibition is running from September 17th through October 18th, 2024 at the University of North Florida's Gallery of Art in the Founders Hall. Make sure to check it out while it's still here. Throughout the four floors of the University of North Florida's Thomas Street Carpenter Library, you can find stunning works of art on display. The Art in the Library program was started in 2008 in and has grown into a beautiful gallery displaying art primarily by artists from Northern Florida. This has been made possible through donations, both from collectors to the artists themselves. Next time you find yourself in the library, take a moment to stop and look around. Right by UNF's main entrance is nestled next to the Eco Adventure and its trails, one can find the Calm Butterfly Garden. This garden is carefully curated to be a prime example of northeastern Florida biodiversity art. If you take the time to sit at one of the benches, you can admire the daffodils and marigolds. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll even be able to see a monarch or yellow swallowtail butterfly. This garden reflects art in the natural world and is a must-see to anyone on campus. Well, that's edition of an Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm River Dodd. Thanks for joining me on Inside Swoop.